Uh, am I live? I think I'm live. We'll find out in just a little bit. Over here. Okay. Alright guys, so I wanted to make a video today because I am thinking about selling the Lexus. So I'm on the desktop right now looking at prices. I want to see what I can get for it if I want to sell it stock or if I want to sell it as a whole. Um, maybe somebody wants it as a whole. So oh what's up KB thank you man. Uh, I'm just trying these things out so I don't know if they work. Uh, so it's cool. Hopefully my voice is okay. You might hear a lot of surround. Um, I tried using my other microphone but I think it's it's pretty much dead so I'll probably have to get like a new um, new setup for that so I'm on Club Lexus um, those of you guys who know Lexus community Club Lexus is pretty much the only forum for it um, I haven't been on here for a while I used to stay active when I first got my ISF so let's just check it out um, first thing I see aftermarket seats so this is pretty cool because a lot of people back in the day, like three years to you know ten years ago, I didn't really see m much about people modifying, like interiors and things like that. People mainly just wanted power, and that's kind of what the whole thread was. And people are getting into wheels and stance and stuff too. Uh, I don't want to buy anything right now. I, I just don't know what the future holds, honestly. So, like, the car is great. It's paid off. Insurance isn't terribly high, but the older the car is the higher the mileage the more money I gotta put out for maintenance the more money I gotta put out for insurance the more money I gotta put out for gas because it's not really good on gas as a V8 right so I think I had my fun with fast cars this is like the fastest car I ever had and uh, I'm, I'm comfortable with that I don't people people want more horsepower I don't really want more horsepower four to five hundred is pretty comfortable for me so I'm kinda just over it I guess I don't know I'm just going through some stuff like I love the car I drive it and I look at it and I clean it and I just the setup right now is phenomenal whoever owns that car or wants to set up just like that you know you're gonna love the car for years to come so thanks KB uh, make sure it's loud I just want to make sure everyone understands or sees um, so yeah I'm on Club Lexus right now so you see people are starting to modify the cars more internally um, so that's pretty cool uh, I don't really care too much for that thread so I just this one I was just looking at it. this is kind of what maybe wanted to go live and talk to you guys about it this guy posted that this dealership or auction posted a 13 ISF in this uh, nebula gray I think it's nebula gray but this is a really 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 nice color it's really rare too I don't really see this often um, compared to blue blue is everywhere but it has 80,000 miles which is it's kind of fair but kind of high for 2013 and it sold for 26 so I guess that's kind of fair but I also think that's kind of like really cheap because for 13 that's fully loaded you get all the nooks and, and crannies and, and you know what I mean like performance wise not really it's honestly the same uh, they say the suspension is a little bit more beefier you have slightly wider wheels and tires um, but all of, all of the interior has been like uh, redesigned a little bit in terms of like in terms of ha that having that brown gray center console you have a uh, gloss black with more chrome I think that's what it comes with but that's that's a pretty fair price um, I don't know how to l let's check Kelly Blue Book I have it open here too so uh, priced car I just want to know how much they're worth you know what I mean and it kind of sucks because Kelly Blue Book kind of ruins the value of a lot of cars in a lot of ways. And I don't really know the algorithm or the uh, the idea of pricing a car based off mileage. Um, I mean, we have cars that are not reliable whatsoever, and they still hold super high value. So I just, you know, pick a random one. Ah, whatever. That's my zip code. Uh, sedan. It's an F. Um, no thank you mechanical that doesn't matter because everything is about about price right so let's say I get a used car price um, 
how to put the mileage in? Oh, here we go. Uh, this one had 82,780. 82, okay, so definitely fair market range, right? So the fair price is 28, and the highest you can get is 32 based off Kelly Blue Book, which is, you know, whatever. So this car sold at least um 2000 less but i guess after tag title taxes you probably pay around 28 29 that's a pretty good price considering what you get um when i bought mines about a little over three years ago almost four years now i paid twenty five thousand. and you know when you're young and, and you just want something you know like at the time there was like two blue isfs for sale one was really sketch and modded and one was fairly stock and original from what i saw um, I literally bought it blind, so I, I just talked to the guy for like a month straight, every day, um, filling out paperwork. He had a lien on it, so I had to figure out how to pay off his lien and then pay the rest with him cash to get the car and get the title stated. But my bank was able to finance me, so I paid 25 right? At the time, I probably overpaid. The car was probably worth 22000 but I overpaid because it was, you know, USB blue and it was white Alpine interior and I wanted that combination so you know i had the money i had the credit i had the loan so i just went ahead and bought it and i thought that was okay um i don't tell people you know i don't lie about what i paid for i paid for it 25 and that 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 kind of to me was overpriced in a lot of ways if i if i would have settled for something that's not what i wanted like blue or black like like a, maybe just a black with black interior or white with black interior i probably would have paid way less um the lowest i seen an isf go was sixteen thousand. And I think it was a red one that had like 300,000 miles on it. So that was insane. That's pretty damn cheap. That's freaking Honda Civic pricing right there. And you get a 400 horsepower sedan. So um, if I were to sell my car now, I have 140,000 miles on it. So let's go check this out real quick. So, you know, let's say 30K for 2013. So if I go down 2008. Okay. Edit the mileage here. Oh, look at that. The average is 120. I have 140. Mind you, the reason why I'm a little hurt that I paid so much because when I bought the car, it had like 113,000 miles on it. Now it has 140. I only put a little over 25,000 miles on it in the past four years. So that's pretty damn good. I barely drive the car. So look at that. Base off. Oh, what the hell? See, good thing I need to catch these things because now it's saying that's a, a sport. Okay, that's a, that's not what I'm looking for. Wow. Okay, this is all got messed up. Let me let me just backtrack. This whole thing just got retarded. Two styles available in 08. Okay, I gotta start over, guys. This is so dumb. Um. Oh, condition. There we go. Oh, god. Back up. Condition. Get used price. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna start over because this is, this is frustrating me. I never like using this website. Uh, let me read the comments in a little bit, guys. Yeah, uh, let me just. I just want. There we go. Finally, a section for it. Mm, mm -mm. Pricing uh, for buyers for sellers. Get value. Okay, let me read some comments. Uh, let's see. Same here. Yeah, I mean, KB, I, I mean, I just, I had it for almost four years, you know. Like, I usually cycle every five years, which is kind of dumb. Um, but, I mean, people, they use up the car and there's, what else is next, you know? Um, what would I ask for for it? <sighs> Shit. Unrealistically, I'd like to get 30K after parting everything out. Like, suspension, wheels, accessories whatever headlights exhaust headers are going to stay on it because my oem ones were trashed from that video that you guys watched um they were cracked so i sold that i mean i took it off and they're sitting in my backyard so i probably got to find a way to recycle that because i know the cats i can make some money on that but the headers are staying on the car and that's something someone the future owner has to deal with and you know even if it's someone older or i doubt it though maybe it might be a younger kid that's a that's a perk you have 
PPE headers in there. The car already has more horsepower. It, it can breathe now. Um, but I like to get close to 30k. I paid 25 just for the car alone, and all the mods in there alone. You know, I'm trying to get close to 30k. But let me see how much the car is worth right now. Um, I just put price with standard equipment. Blue. Okay, let's just click. Let's just click very good. Because they're gonna show you the the meter anyway when it's done looking. Okay. Uh, what's up, guys? What up? Uh, I'm gonna just pronounce it Hiro Tan or yeah, it's probably Tan T H. If, if it's an Asian name, it's probably Tan. Uh, J. What's up, J? What's up, Shelds? What's up, PR? Uh, you bought your F for fourteen thousand. Damn. Really, really cheap. Oh, you made a profit then. That's great. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing too. If if someone's willing to pay X amount of money for a car, that's how much it's worth to them. It doesn't really matter what Kelly Blue Book said. It doesn't matter what freaking the guy on Facebook or the forum says. It doesn't really matter, you know. So, like that's why I said, like when I bought my car at twenty five thousand, I j I knew what I was paying for. I figured that car was worth at least twenty five. So I was happy that I made that purchase. It's just now that I'm looking at the de depreciation, it kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. La, la, la. You can uh, sell for twenty. Yeah, maybe stock with the headers and stock wheels with like fresh tires. I could probably get twenty k for it. I mean, I'll be willing to do all that. You know, get it prepped for the owner. Um, what am I gonna buy next? Probably nothing, to be honest with you. Uh, I guess yeah, I gotta get my my situation, my life situated. Um, things, you know, if if you follow me from the beginning, I've been I moved to a new house. I on my third job. Uh, just because mine's a little more, um, my job is tinting. I'm, I'm a window tinter at, at the dealerships, but that situation is a little more. Um, what's the word I want to say? It, it's if if it's slow, you're pretty much stuck, and you got to figure out how to get out of there or find a way to get more work. And YouTube isn't really paying well. And as you can see, I'm not really caring about becoming a freaking a uh, hundred thousand scrap. I'm not, I'm not trying to be TJ Hunt. I'm not trying to be, um, you know. Adam LZ, like they're cool people, and they have a lot of projects. And going full time YouTube be cool, but it's it's a, a a big risk. Like you need to have money backed up. You need to go f like literally making videos every day, networking, all that stuff, and that can make you good money in return. But sometimes, like me being part of YouTube and meeting YouTubers, it's really not. It I guess I have more ethics and morals in it than trying to put a face on for you guys. I'm kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nothing's really interesting in my life and I, I make videos based off what I'm doing to the car or if I feel like you know the community or society needs it or YouTube needs it I'll make a video on it um, if, if I if I went out more and did stupid stuff like burnouts uh, clickbait videos I'm probably I'm probably gonna blow up and I probably can make good money that I can I don't have to work a full-time job but in situation like where I'm at the Lexus is depreciating and I'm thinking about selling the car um, it's a great car it will last forever it's reliable um, just bad on gas. Uh, I mean, what do you expect? It's performance. So, give me a second. I'm trying to read all the comments. I'm talking too much, aren't I? Uh, yeah, not trying to buy anything after this. I still got the S2000, and I still have the Scion XB, which I probably end up daily driving the Scion XB um, again. Uh, you're in Canada. Damn. Yeah, I I've seen the temperature. Like Northern America is like negative 50, negative 60. Yeah, that's insane. Like we just got warm weather again today after like three days of like 50 degrees um it was great it was really great but now it's hot and i actually sweat for the first time today in like a couple weeks but uh, along with rain we get humidity and the sun is coming back out i, I don't know what's going to happen I, I just know global warming is a big thing so that's the reason why temperatures are crazy right now um i'm doing it wrong chase uh maybe maybe i mean i will see uh let's see my card about yeah i'm checking the value chase don't sell it yeah I don't want to sell it but I had it for so long like you guys pretty much know everything I've done to this damn car um, 30k is a lot of money for a car yeah it is that's why I'm, I'm not trying to get 30k for the car I'm trying to get 30k total with all the parts sold all the wheels I have like two sets of wheels a bunch of aftermarket parts on it so RCF no I don't want an RCF I'll admit to you I don't want an RCF I think uh, uh, I love them and they're nice and all my friends had them and I driven them and I worked on them and they're nice it's just they're it's pretty much just a fancier coupe version of the ISF ISF is more of a just raw dumbed down simple 
F car. Uh, and of course, the GSF is a the GSF is like a Louis Vuitton of the ISF. It's bigger, nicer, more expensive, lavish, but it's the same car in my in my opinion. Um, let's see. Don't do it, bro. Sold. Traded my F. Made the biggest thing. I I don't know, man. I, like I said, I love the car. I go in the garage and I see the way it's set up with the the wall lip and the wrap and the wheels and. I mean, it's comfortable. It really is. It's just I don't know. As I'm looking through all this stuff right now, I want to live stream and, and kind of talk to you guys about it. So, okay, uh, let me stop right there, Jamil. Let me let me go through this. So, trading value um, is 18k if I'm lucky. Um, instant cash offer. Okay, no. Private party 19k. Uh, I should just donate my car, huh? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna look at the private party because more than likely um, I'm not gonna trade in dealerships like to. You know, like I'm not trying to buy another car, and I know if I take it to CarMax, they're probably gonna give me like two dollars for it. So I can probably get around 19. I'm comfortable with 18, but I like to get 20. I think 20 is a fair price. Um, you know, cars maintained, never been an accident. Like I've taken pretty good care of it, and I plan to detail like pretty much most of the whole car before I sell it. Only bad thing I would say is my seats. If you guys had the ISF and any car in general. The, the leather seats they, they turn they turn to crap so when I first bought the car the seats look really good right and I did a, I did a detailed video on it and everything and like it just looks beautiful turns out the seats been repainted so that's the cheapest way to fix messed up and cracked leather is to paint them so the, the the last owner the owner before that got them painted and it looks good from far away but when you sit close you see that the black stitching on the on the alpine seats are white I'm like okay that's kind of weird because the back seats or original the front look kind of funky so you know upon owning the car I clean it up I vacuum and I noticed that between center console and the seat bolster it's paint like over like overspray like a mist overspray of white onto the carpet and I'm, I'm so frustrated when I found that because to me someone did the cheapest way on a really valuable car you know what I mean like I've, I've even started pricing out seat covers from Lexus for that car and it ended up being like eight hundred dollars for the top end. It's just the leather wrap around it, and then it ended up being like seven hundred dollars for the bottom. So it would have cost me like three thousand to get brand new ones from Lexus, which I'm kind of a whore like that. Like I really want, I'm very anal, and I want things certain a uh, certain way. But I know I, if I gone to an upholstery shop, I probably paid half the price. And I, if I keep the car, that's what I want to do. I'm probably gonna get the seats reupholstered, invest that money, and make the car look fresh again. Like. I even bought brand new floor mats for the car because if I ever sell it, I'm, I'm taking all the old stuff out, all right? And I'm going to give it to them too, but I'm going to put the brand new floor mats in so they can feel that the car is a brand new car. You know, I got a brand new dash, brand new quarter panels. I just want everything to look and feel presentable like how I felt when I first got in the car. And I, I want to do that right by, by anyone that buys cars from me for the most part. So looking at the Kelly Blue Book, we're going to get 20K for the car. So yes, paying 26, 27 for a, what, eight? to for five year old or newer like five years newer than my car that's a that's a plus you know what i mean you got a lot of goodies on this one and this color is really nice yeah someone got a good deal uh yeah this guy's pissed off because i guess he called and they got sold out that's that's the reason why he posted this thread up here you guys can check it out too uh what's next oh here's another one just saw an 08 isf on cars.com today no photos um 88k which is pretty low miles for an 08 and so for 22 so mines have what 50,000 miles more than this one and you know 50,000 more which is equivalent to 60 70 percent mileage or life of the engine compared to this one right that's more so this is 88 mine's 140 and if you do the math, I'm saying that 60% more mileage than this car, mines, and it's $2,000 more than mine. So, yes, I guess the ISF does hold value. Mileage doesn't really matter as long as you maintain it. You know what I mean? As long as there's service records and, and things like that, you should be fine. So, in my opinion, that's a, that's a, this guy should have gotten way more. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's not a for sale post, is it? Yeah, it might be a for sale post. Anyway. Uh, going through it again, uh, VLAN headlights. Yeah, someone asked me about these too. Should I get them? Look at them. I don't know. Like up close in person, 
or up close and personal they look really damn nice like I, i'm not gonna lie like if if money is a big problem don't get the the newer headlights just buy these these are pretty damn good and they're probably bright too i just don't like this upper area here this big empty spot i think the designers could have done something with that but i seen someone put like a little eyelid on it and it was pretty damn cool yeah yeah they look pretty damn nice i'm not gonna lie but see how like round the car is it's it's like this is like mid 2000 era but then these headlights are like 21st 21st 22nd whatever the the next generation of cars and it's just it, that's why it throws it off for me i don't know i'm not gonna bug it they look pretty cool um would i do it probably not because i already spent thousand dollars on my headlights um okay a bunch of other stuff let's go back to the comments because i want to i want to see well, bah, 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 bah. Mm, don't do it okay Okay, Jamil. So now we're going to James. Uh, selling the dealer, 8K private, 22. Uh, I'll be lucky if I get 22K. Um, you know, the car is wrapped. So I have to take all the wrap off. I have to repaint the front end because, like I said before, my car has been repainted from the previous owner. And when I wrapped it and I pulled the wrap off, it took the paint with it. Or the clear coat, rather. So the whole front end got to be redone. So that's going to cost me quite a bit of money out of my pocket. So I would like to sell it wrapped. Cause it's pretty damn nice. Uh, you know, it's worth. Yep, worth whatever someone is willing to pay for it. You're right, racer. Uh, Lance. Lance. Oh man, I'm getting messed up with these uh comments here. I'm trying to read them all. Uh, yeah, Kelly Bubuk is not reliable. <laughs> damn, you got 26k when you wrecked it. Yeah, that's pretty low miles. Yeah, cause then that's what sucks because. Yeah, you wrecked it. You got that twenty six k, and you got low miles. I probably get like two dollars. No, I can't get two dollars. Insurance is a little better than that. They're not like dealerships. They probably give me like three dollars. Yeah, that's way more of a profit. Oh yeah, see, this is a fine line. You could find like a really cheap one, like sixteen, eighteen thousand, that's been abused, and you don't know the history of it, um, and it's tough, you know. Or you have to spend like twenty five plus for one that of course is lower mileage but doesn't mean it's good you know it could have been flooded too because i know there was an incident on facebook where someone said um they kept reselling this blue one all across america because it was flooded and then they had to buy it back because i don't know if, if someone finds that story send it to me on um, facebook um so i can read it out and maybe make a video for you guys um why support the f ah uh, that's the thing when you do so much to it you have to do way more for like like I'm happy with the power like I said but like I still need a tune to make the car run reliable um, at 140k I don't know what can go I'm afraid of the the differential going I'm afraid of the transmission going and I'm afraid of the um, torque converter going all that stuff's gonna cost a lot of money uh, to fix and my friend my friend Sheldon had an incident where he had a he bought an ISF and something happened with his piston rings or valves I don't know like one day he was driving it and it started knocking like crazy he has low miles like probably 40 or 60 thousand miles on it and this was years ago but like that can happen anytime and to buy a brand new engine is 10 grand or even a used not brand new used engine is like 10 grand you might get lucky a little cheaper but that's a lot of money too you know for something like that and of course warranties not gonna cover it I got my car is pretty much a Honda Civic at this point so old mileage wise to me it's still a new car um bro you helped me a lot yeah I, i'm i'm glad i can help most of my subscribers and people on on social media because like i said the only reason why i made youtube because i couldn't find any video like what 2015 you type in lexus isf trying to figure out how to do something all you see is oh custom exhaust deleted cats like sound clip videos okay cool like i don't care for that how do you how do you do this how do you do that and then installation videos I got like millions of views and that's cool like um, LED ones I mean I made a video on it but I didn't really care for it but I figured I'd do it just just to keep a, a modification video checklist on my channel but that's the reason why I made it um, so now we're here yeah our racing supercharger I would but there's no point I don't really need 500 600 wheel horsepower you know what I mean like then you have to figure out like oh when you reach 600 wheel horsepower you're gonna need fixed rear arms to correct the camber get 
less aggressive wheels of course stance you know you either stance or fitment or, or you're into just a fat tire and trying to lay down numbers on a straightaway um, all that come into play when you get an RR supercharger or get more horsepower you know the car is not terribly heavy but it is but with all that horsepower you need to get better tires you need to correct your suspension that it always drives straight um, things wear out quick you know what I mean like the, the, a lot goes into play and, and I, I feel like at my point like even you guys dealing with um, valley plate leak on the ISF um, at like low mileage like 40,000 miles that's frustrating I haven't had the issue yet but I know it's gonna come up eventually even those couple seals I think on the top that needs to be replaced but it's gonna happen eventually so imagine that just from just owning and daily driving the car I can't imagine putting more horsepower and wearing out the car more and it's not as simple as a Honda, I keep saying Honda Civic, but they're really easy, you know, they're like a Lego, you take it apart, like anyone can learn to take apart and, and do anything to a car when it's simple like that, but when you have something that's more electrical, like the ISF and Lexus, and everything now is going to be electrical, so you got to take it to the dealer to do it, and that's going to cost money, so I'm just thinking ahead of the, ahead of time, so, uh, didn't make much money because I had new tires, tails, roof spoiler, front chin, so I made a grand, Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on your, your time frame. You're trying to power out a car and you got, you got patience, you can make some good money back on it. Or at least most of your money back on it. Um, yeah, Gretty is awesome. Man. Anything Japanese performance is awesome. But you always pay a little bit more. Like a supercharger for an S2000, you can get like an American made one or, or whatever you want to call it. Like a, a more affordable one for like 2000 maybe less. And if you go HKS, which is Japanese, you pay more than three, maybe five thousand after everything. So it's just JDM goodies, you know what I mean? Which they're reliable, they're they're designed right. It's just a lot of money. Like um, if you guys know Novel or Novel from Japan, dude, they sell stuff that are ridiculously overpriced. But everything is handmade, crafted, titanium, like well done, and they race their cars. Um, I can see why RR wants a lot of money for their parts because they're just like novel or novel in a sense because you know they they put a lot of time and money into you know all that. So I would never buy anything novel or novel. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna say novel because I've always said novel. I'm like I would never buy anything because like, it's just it's too much money. You know what I mean? Um, Chicago, don't get that warm weather shit. Yeah, it's it's warm here. It's too warm. It's humid. I'm in Tampa. <laughs> Apparently, it's supposed to it, it snowed in Jacksonville, which is like the north of Florida that's crazy um, yeah I'm studying right now for my uh, boards that's the reason why um, I'm trying not to be too distracted with the car and stuff and uh, you know I guess I just I put more time into studying that's the reason why um, I've been kind of like off social media so if you follow me on Instagram I don't have it anymore um, my private account I deleted it and if you follow me on the cancel lamb garage one it's still active but i don't use it as much if, if you notice i probably haven't posted it there in like a couple months um just getting out of that phase for now because it is a big distraction um i'm the type of person who just like to get things done and i didn't want to shut out facebook because i needed to interact and sell things but and i didn't want to get rid of youtube because i actually enjoy making videos i like talking in front of i'm very i'm i'm, I'm what is it i'm like a i'm like a turtle i don't like i don't like talking much you know what I mean? I have my ways of thinking. I have my ways of communicating, and I like to shut out. Uh, I'm a Scorpio, so uh, I, I've been through so much already in my past with people and situations and circumstances that I don't really have the need, or I don't need to tell people sh like stuff. If you if you if you disrespect me or something like that, I'm not gonna talk to you. You know, I don't have to tell you that you did. You should. I. I that's just me. I, I would just. You know what I mean? Um, but. Uh, if someone maybe put me in my place for something I've done or said, I, I, I shut out. Um, I feel bad for myself or, or for even doing something like that. So YouTube's another way for me to, to rant and talk and vent. And I really enjoy it a, a lot. So that's the reason why I keep making videos. And I'm not the most interesting person, but I, I do I do talk a lot, which is insane. Um, uh, Sah Saif Rocks or Safe Rocks? Uh, I'm not going to get anything after this. I'm just going to save my money. Um, if I do get something project wise uh, would be right hand drive uh, everyone on YouTube seems to be in the importing 
like crazy right now but I, I do there is a right hand drive car that I really really want and I'm gonna have to wait on that because it's really expensive uh, if not I'll probably get a forerunner I really want a forerunner uh, me and my girlfriend we we, we want to travel more but money is a constraint and um, our schedule isn't right right now so you know traveling with the with the ISF or the S2000 isn't really comfortable I want a truck so I wanted a forerunner um, okay wrap looks sweet supercharge it <laughs> thanks on the compliments probably won't supercharge it uh, can't change the mileage that's illegal unfortunately and I'm going public with my mileage so um, now you know um, yeah e E85 would have been cool I think my car would have been really fast I don't need it uh, <laughs> uh, let's see I give you 20k for your F just because it's loud as fuck it used to be loud but after I put the PPE PPE no PPE header is loud but once I put the Josie exhaust on it's quiet because of the um, it's got two resonators in the middle and then it has the mufflers so in actuality, if I just if I just did straight pipes with high flow cats, the car would be nuts. Like I probably wouldn't even want to drive it. Like straight up Corvette, Mustang, four GTs type stuff. Um, you see, everyone keeps asking me this. Uh, Saint Lene, everyone keeps asking me about the transmission fluid. I they say you're not supposed to change it, but I've been contemplating about changing that. I'm gonna talk to my friend Alexis and see what he says because I would pay the money to get it done because nothing lasts forever. My girlfriend told me that the other day. Like nothing lasts forever, so. I'm gonna have to see what's what that what that's all about because I have 140k. It's just fine, but like I said, it can go any minute. Ooh, Pico Sith Lord Soup. Thanks for the donation. Um, for the Lexus, have you ever been so far as decided you want to go? <laughs> want to go do more and look like? I've done everything I want on a car. I got the walled front. I got the walled spoiler, walled diffuser. Um. Volks on there. I had Volks on it since the beginning, but like now I have Tether Sevens in bronze, which is amazing because I found that set and it looks great on there. Um, car looks great. Like, I'm I'm very happy with the way the car turned out right now. Like uh, I think one person did comment say he didn't like the color because it makes the car look old, but when I wash that thing and you see it and the sun hits it just right, that car looks really really phenomenal. Like I don't know. It, if you're in Florida and we go to a car meet or something, just check it out. You can see for yourself. Hmm. Selling a OASF with 85 for 27,000. Some guy spent a lot on that. Uh, yeah, 08, 85. Yeah, that's a lot. Even at 85k, um, I know a couple years ago it might be worth that much, but I would pay 25, just because of, I don't know, 27,000 is a lot. But like I said, you know, you pay what it's worth, and the car is phenomenal. So you definitely get your money's worth. Yeah, I used to work at Toyota too. Um, it was it was fun. Uh, what's up Madara I hope I pronounced that right <laughs> yeah Dylan still has the ISF um, he, he's contemplating of selling his 18 inch T37 so if anyone wants them they're 9.5 and, and 10 the 9.5 is 22 and the 10 is plus 30 it fits perfect with some meaty tires but they're 18's uh, he wants to get rid of that and go to 19's so he still has it uh, yeah I'm not, I'm not sure what happened with Sheldon's F um, I don't know who who really owned it before. I just knew his was really clean. Um, yeah, the the two UR is pretty good. I mean, the V8 on this Lexus is amazing. It's really reliable. So it's just rare if something happens to them. What do I do daily? I I wake up, go to work, um, go home, and I try to make videos. I I try to make a video every day after work, or I catch up on cleaning the house or or getting things organized and stuff like that um, that's the reason why I kind of delete social media I don't, I don't I don't like using it as much anymore because of um, the distraction so I stopped using social media for that reason too so and then at nighttime I study for my boards so um, I just sit here for a couple hours and try to focus and study I need, I need to get this thing done like I'm trying to be in the medical field and that financially is great because I can get decent money to where I can start making more videos and projects like I won't be as stressed out anymore you know what I mean that's pretty much job security anything medical field is job security for the most part um oh change the mileage on the Kelly Blue Book if I had 100k let's see <laughs> alright guys we're gonna do this I've probably been talking way too long but if you guys are enjoying this uh, live stream um 
we found four recalls. I probably did it already, buddy. Okay. How do I change the mileage? Oh, I just back it up. You're making model ISF. Mm. I'll put blue uh, again, again. Very good. Alright. Let's keep reading comments while they do this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Missed, missed the first few minutes. You sound the F. Yeah. Two spec. I'm thinking about it. Um, debating of selling the holding out one one shot or just part it out. And yeah, I appreciate it, A spec. You know, I'm trying to make more videos. Um, I I probably gonna make a video on removing a door panel for you guys. If you guys are ever interested in removing it to get to stuff, uh, it's fairly easy, but it's very tricky too at the same time. So you got to kind of like manhandle the crap out of it to get it out. Um, a lot of our dream cars and. Yeah, you know, that's the funny thing, Chris. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just be real real quick. A lot of YouTubers that I watch, a lot of famous ones and a lot of up-and-coming ones, they, they follow the trend. And I've seen people who love, 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 like, European cars. And talk mad smack. Or maybe not a lot of people. I, there's, like, for example, if someone loves BMW, and they love it, love it, love it, but they're just, they're a small channel. And they want to become relevant, and they start jumping around. They're seeing what people are doing, and then also, and someone gets, in in this sense, an R32 Skyline. That's it's a legal car, so you can get it imported for for you know, for a lot of money. But they see that, and they're like, "Oh crap!" You know, I got to follow the trend. They they get rid of the BMW and they get a, a Skyline. They know nothing about it, but they want it because it's they they you know everyone's getting it so they know they're going to stay relevant and they know they can network and communicate with other youtubers and hopefully blow up and to me that's like you're, you're, you're kind of faking the funk a lot um, in front of so many viewers but they don't care no more because if you branch away from the car community and actually look at other youtubers like Jake Paul, Logan Paul um, who else? who else is a big youtuber that I don't really care for but those guys they they or even ninja the the fortnite player like they 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 follow what's gonna drive the community in and right now the youtube community it's mostly kids because like I have a little sister but my like her having a phone or even access to internet the youtube is the community or the, the website they stay at because it gives them a chance to see other people's life it's entertaining they can search anything they want and they will subscribe because it doesn't hurt them and they'll they'll watch non-stop because when you're that young all you want to do is just watch and learn watch and learn and mimic and copy and be like that person so a lot of these big youtubers i feel like have younger crowds following them and it's just whoever's whoever's the quickest to to buy a new car that's in trend and build it up and get it out there quick and i, I think it kind of takes away the whole personality of youtube but it's fine because i'm not trying to be like that either you know what i mean like i'm I just hit 7,000 subscribers, so thank you, thank you for you guys for subscribing and watching the videos. And it's been a slow process. Four years and 7,000 subscribers is not a lot, but I'm okay with that. Um, as long as people watch my videos and you enjoy it, then I can make more videos. Because I, I, like I said, I, I enjoy recording and I like putting it up. But I will never get anything that I don't want or never wanted. I've always, I've always wanted the S2000. I just never could afford it. It was always 20,000, 25,000. So. Um, I had a chance to buy one last year, so I was like, you know, I've always wanted a Miata. I'm not gonna lie to you. I always wanted a 1990 Miata. I wanted red, pop up headlights and all, but I want it clean. Everything in Florida is rust bucket or, or really messed up. You know what I mean? So I, I was like, I'm not gonna spend three to ten k for a Miata. That's 1990. So I looked at S2000s, which dropped in price like crazy. So that's the reason why I bought the S2K, and I'm trying to make more videos on it. And you know the channel doesn't grow that much because of that because most of you guys are Lexus people but it's fine like I know it's gonna happen as long as I stay relevant and update you guys on the Lexus stuff but uh, in it, right now I'm not really doing anything to the Lexus um, but I'm willing to do whatever videos you guys want to see on that car before I even d decide to get rid of it or, or make an attempt to sell it um, but right now I have the S2000 so I'm learning about it that's the reason why there's a lot of S2000 videos um, you know, just just content for the channel. Like it's just for whoever new comes on the channel wants to watch a bunch of stuff in the playlist. They can do that. Um, okay, now back to this. I still can't figure out how to change the damn mileage on this. Where is it? You know, I don't care anymore. I'm over it. Sorry, buddy. It's probably gonna be like twenty, twenty one, twenty two at a hundred k. So, um, for anyone, uh, let me read the finish. Let me read the rest of the comments. 
okay and then we're gonna go ahead and go in and start looking for ISFs because I have Auto Tempest right here and Craigslist and bring a trailer so we're gonna see what we can find um, for those who are looking for an ISF and let's see what they're going for so uh, comment comment comments um, blah, 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 blah. on my daily driver I'm driving S2000 as a daily driver right now um, so that car is slowly gonna wear out as well so we'll see it's a good car I mean the XB the Cyan XB I had was my daily but I need tires so I haven't really been driving that car um, uh, let's see but also interesting to know that what your daily routine is like yeah see when I when I start working in healthcare when I pass these goddamn boards I'm gonna probably work like 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning to like 5 or 6 at night I'm probably gonna start going to the gym again but that's where it's gonna really hurt my channel because I'm not gonna have any time to actually work on the YouTube channels and make videos I'm gonna be working most of the time trying to get that money right but if I can somehow regulate it where I can work part-time on weekends I can dedicate full-time YouTube on the weekdays and then work part-time weekends and that way you guys can get a really a, a idea of what my life is because I can really dedicate it to this channel. I see a lot of YouTubers do that. They, they, they quit their job when they have traction or momentum and they start vlogging and people really enjoy their vlogs and it blew them up, it blew them up to where the point they didn't have to work. The YouTube money was paying for the bills and stuff and they, it gave them money for them to make more content and I'm just not as interesting but I'm pretty sure if I vlog and try it out for like maybe a month and if you guys enjoy it maybe it could be a thing. So we'll see. Um, I'm studying for occupational therapy assistant or certified occupational therapy assistant uh, I went to a university uh, and I graduated I got my um, degree or certificate I don't know what you want to call it and I'm just studying to pass the, the state boards I got to be certified to practice therapy with anything healthcare you got to pass the boards um, they're pretty difficult a lot of clinical questions and stuff uh, it's it's really hard to pass and it's about 550 bucks every single time you take it so I've taken it twice and I already spent $1,100 on it so I'm really trying to prepare for it. So that's what I'm studying for. If you guys are, are interested, it's, it's it's a whole 180 from the whole car thing. Like I've I've worked in the industry for like eight years, you know, in the uh, dealership, and it's good, it's fun, but you know, I, it drains you out, and it's not consistent. So I need something more consistent. So I went to school a few years ago for therapy, and I've just been struggling to to pass the boards because of that reason. Um, how to remove the antenna? Yes, I could make a video, Edgar, because it's actually not that hard, but uh, it's kind of messy because there's like foam inside the uh, the sunroof, so it, it's gonna get everywhere. So uh, maybe in your mouth too. I, I think I probably inhaled a couple of those foams. But if I make that video, it applies to a lot of the cars too. So uh, only thing I have to say, you have to be very careful with the headliner. They're very delicate. You can crease it. Uh, and wrapping the roof is pretty easy if you use the right materials and the right technique. Um, yeah. Thanks, Lance. That's all I care about. Like, I just want to make videos because I, I like talking. Like, a lot of people think, oh, this guy just wants to make videos because he's stupid or he's bored or whatever. No, I, I find it like a, it's like rehabilitation, like therapy for me, you know. Um, people think it's crazy, but like, even people that Snapchat or do Instagram stories or post every day, it's, it's a form of relief to rant or to, to post something or to talk in front of the, the camera. Um, keep your Lexus, bro. Love your video. Inspire me to do more. Yeah. Honestly, the IS350 is great. I wish I could do more videos for my little brother's car, but that would require me to do a lot. Like, that car needs, like, new tints. The car needs another detail, probably. Um, I'm trying to persuade him to do, like, VLAN headlights and stuff. So, when the time comes, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if we can schedule it where my brother and I can go drive the, the car somewhere. Or maybe I'll just do it in my, my, my garage. But I want to compare the two so you guys can see. Uh, I have all these ideas in my head. But like I said, I'm focusing on studying, so that's why I haven't um, really... Um, made that video yet but we're gonna do a video um, you know comparing the ISF and IS350 uh, what I like more about the IS350 over the ISF price wise power wise I mean whatever I can think of so don't mind what I'm looking here the Celica I was thinking about buying a Toyota Celica again but um, that's just not realistic right now so anyway into this video talking too much we're gonna see how much a ISF cost right within yeah whatever doesn't matter uh, there's only was it six no five years of the ISF which is pretty cool pretty damn cool so we're gonna see how much they go for if anyone is interested in buying 
these the Lexus ISF and we can just get out of Kelly Blue Book because I don't really care for them anyway uh, wow there's n no no results found on Lexus ISF okay Auto Tempest you have failed me miserably oh before 1997 Jesus Christ okay let's go back let's go back yeah keep rolling in questions guys if you have any questions just type it in there I'll, I'll try to answer them uh, okay 2013 was the last year and 2008 was the first year um, have you seen the VLAN yeah I've seen it in person some guy with the IS350 had it at a clean culture um, a white one and it was pretty damn nice he, his car was pretty clean it was bagged and everything and he was racing it down the track so that, He's an older guy. I, I I think it's cool that people are actually using the car for it. Come on, what the hell is this? You see that? Oh yeah, of course you guys see it. I'm freaking live right now. Why is this here? I put ISF strictly right here, right on top. ISF strictly, and it's showing me this is showing me this IS250. And some odd reason, this IS250 had the has the older headlights. So this is a scam right here, off the bat. Oh my god, let me show you guys this. This is wow. I'm not I'm not really keen. I don't really know much about IS2 uh IS250 or 350s, but I'm pretty sure a 2012 Lexus IS did not come with these older headlights. And this is Florida fine cars by the way. This is like literally down the street from where I live. That's very scammy, guys. I don't like these tail lights either. They're kind of funky looking. Let's see the rear bumper. I know that it was the same throughout the years. Mm, the wheels look correct yes 250 brakes are the same the front bumper is correct the grill is correct mirrors are correct these headlights are not correct so somebody at this dealership swapped them out got some explaining to do anyway going down here we go 08 ISF with 85,000 miles for 25k that is a steal don't care what anyone says that's a steal only bad thing it's silver uh, most people want the more unique colors of the ISF so that ain't too bad honestly again can you guys filter out these goddamn IS 250s we're trying to help people find out prices for the ISF but we just skip through it oh here's a modded one is this one of you guys on here on the comments is this the one you guys talking about you traded this one's on eBay asking 26,000 if you hear barking, my dog's in the back. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna look at that. It's got a carbon fiber hood. That's okay. That's definitely an ISF one because I've seen, I've seen, um, not seen, but I guess the IS two fifty hood or two fifty three fifty hood is a lot smoother um, around around the sides so yeah that's a, that, that one has a hump on it sorta of, so I think that is the right hood it's got some bison R front lip I think this one got walled walled rear spoiler VLAN taillights um, those Tom's extensions or that could be an eBay brand I don't really know what brand it is I, I just I don't know what those bumper extensions are and these uh, this rear ah oh, man what diffuser is this this diffuser is really weird. The whole bottom is like a carbon fiber like um, Vortex generator. And it's just like a vinyl wrap that they give you that you have to wrap that piece up to make it look kind of like cool. Um, Tom Sides, Novel, Ducks. This is pretty clean. So this is a 2012. It's got the 12 headlights because you can see the you can see the little eyelashes right there above the projector. It's pretty damn clean. Let's see what else you got going on, buddy. Clean black interior. Looks like new brakes. Yeah, fairly new brakes. These are fairly new. Clean clean caliper, not chipping or anything. Because that is a common issue on the ISF, the, the, the caliper's chip. So, how many miles on this? I didn't even get a look. So, 55K. Pretty damn low. Um, and they're asking 20. Okay, this is a better buy than the other one we just saw slightly modded but I mean the front suspension is stock you can see there the wheel gap the holy wheel gap and of course for you guys that don't know the, the ISF in the rear 
it's kind of lower than the front see that so the the rear literally has like one finger gap and the front has like a lot more uh it's sunken it's sunken in so bad i don't know if this is lowered or not and if it is it doesn't look right i'm gonna say it's not lowered but i don't know oh the, the roof is wrapped too it looks like it looks like satin carbon fiber or just regular satin Ah, pretty cool contrast pretty cool I guess yeah this is a good price guys so if, if you find an ISF with 50k miles that's older than 2012 at 25k that's a good price so I should pick that up next on the list an 08 15k wow look at that holy crap guys fifteen thousand dollars dude this is cheap Ooh. okay L look at the bumper guys the front bumper see that cap it's a different color it's a different shade um most cases they are different but the the cap and the bumper is both plastic so the paint should match fairly well so maybe something happened to this car but you can see the headlights they're upgraded and it's an 08 so that's a that's a perk uh stock stock height pretty clean interior yeah pretty clean okay so this one has how many miles 116 so fa fairly similar to what fairly similar to what my car was when I bought it four years ago but this is like almost this is nine thousand dollars cheaper than what I paid wow this guy is located in California so I don't know the history of it but that is that is that is really wow that's cheap Jesus I should sell my my, my ISF part it out and then just buy this to save money no I'm just kidding that's pretty cheap guys so let's see you can find cars for cheap it's just a matter of where to look but I find I'm not sponsored by Auto Tempest I just like using it because all the youtubers say it but it does work mmm We'll go back to some questions, guys. Go back to some questions. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Read that, everything. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen? Yep, dip, you. you have a set. Yeah. Thank you, Sheldon. I fucked up on that one. Major red flag. It's silver, though. <laughs> Hold up. I need to replace my rear number for my 07. Will it fit, fit a 11? Oh, your rear bumper. Yeah. Um... The only the only difference between the ISF body compared to the IS two fifty IS three fifty body is the fenders, side skirts obviously, and the bumper and hood. So pretty much the whole front end is wider and bigger. So that won't like if you bought just if you bought just a bumper, like an OEM ISF bumper for your IS two fifty, you're gonna have like a slight gap on both sides, I think. Um, the hood on the F is slightly taller but the rear bumper rear cord panels are exactly the same so in theory you could buy an ISF rear bumper and put it on an IS 250 and it's been done a lot of people have been doing it it, it throws me off because every time I see like a I see that little bumper with the quad tips on like, oh damn ISF and then you pull up it's a it's a 250 350 but it's cool that you know as long as you leave the badges there and not try to pretend to be an F you're cool man I'm okay with that um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, 2014 was the last year. Okay, so I messed up on that one. I was there when they actually re revealed the um, when they revealed the new one, the, the the redesigned one, which looks like a girl's car, but it looks really good, man. That car, that car had potential. All right, we're redoing this because I didn't realize it was 2014. Um, do more in depth. Oh, I can do more just, but all the bumpers for sale say 06 to 12. That's weird. If it says 06 to 12, that because like there's Chinese brands now that you can buy or, or aftermarket ISF bumpers you can buy now that fit directly to an IS250, IS350 because they shortened it slightly. So that's probably what you're seeing online if it's an aftermarket bumper. Um, I don't think the bumper has different brackets now. It might not. Oh, 12 with that mileage, that price. These my previous owners just respected it and it doesn't look like the right shade of Tuscan Pro. Yeah, some of the color changes a bit over the years. I have a breakwater blue vised and the new tone looks different. Yeah, um, breakwater blue 
Is that the same as a USB? Breakwater blue. I, I know the first USB color, which is the uh, the ISF, is USB um, 1.0, and the RCF is USB 2.0. Now I've never compared an IS250 F Sport blue to a ISF blue. I don't know if they're exactly the same, and they might be, but I just don't know. Um, but I know the newer ones they use like a three-stage paint job. So in RC, all the new USBs, which is which is called USB 2.0. They spray paint, um, the first base coat is like a metallic silver, and then they, they, they mist like a liquid pearl blue over it, like multiple times to make it really deep, and then they clear it, I think. Or they paint it silver, then they paint it blue, then they paint it pearl, and then they paint it clear. And that's how you get that crazy blue effect and that's why it looks so rich and deep because if you compare the rcf and the isf in usb they're completely different um it's insane like I, I did a little bit of research on that years ago to see but i mean this is color difference so it's pretty cool um let me just read through oh it's rebuilt title yeah makes sense uh i would keep it but we'll see oh baby blue yeah they, i don't know I guess the colors change over the years. Mm, let's see, yeah, yeah, fitment. Uh, let's go through here again. Mm, 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 mm. See, now it's a little confusing because see, the 14 IS, IS F Sport is showing up. So, yeah, it, I think it does end at 2013. And that was the year when they did the orange shift knob and orange like seat inserts and steering wheel thing, which is kind of weird. Unique, but kind of weird. yeah so not not really much going on here okay here we go here's some relevance to my uh, for sale thing 2019 oh 2009 I'm sorry ISF base model for 19.8 so yeah I guess it justifies me being 140k I can probably get 20k for it respectively of obviously but um, with the parts on it I have to part it out because I, I, I would be losing a lot of money if I were to sell my car for, for 20k with all the parts on it, in my opinion. Um, unless they want to pay for it. But like I said, the car is going to get sold with the PPE headers. I'm not, I'm not doing that whole thing again. It was a pain in the ass to do. Um, mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is a little bit cheaper. 18.5. And it's only 110,000 miles. So yeah, I'm thinking, like I said, I'm thinking about selling like, oh, it's sold. Okay, well, at least take it off the damn thing. Make me look stupid clicking it. Okay, so you guys, you guys can check Auto Tempest and look at it. There's a lot of stuff on there. Um, that out. Craigslist. Okay, so I'm in South Florida. So let's type in Lexus ISF if there's any available. And there is zero. So if I did list my car for sale, I would be the only one for sale. Let's go to Orlando because it's kind of like another two hours north. Okay, this guy is selling his. Black one, fully loaded. Let's see what it's all about. 08, fully loaded. And he wants 22.5. How many miles? Okay, so he has close to the same mileage as me. It's also got a basin R front lip. Okay, I can zoom in. Cool. Basin R front lip, 2010. Or 2011 headlights because it doesn't have the eyelashes. If this, you guys are wondering, eyelashes is right here. Um, it's got some wheels on it which I don't know what they are, but they look kind of cool. It's got this weird plastic side skirt on there. It's not the typical toms that everyone gets, but this one has a wave to it which looks kind of funny. But it's been modded, obviously. It's lowered because the front is a lot lower than the rear, which means there's suspension on here. Mm, these wheels are like 20s LED seems to work pretty well let's see what else oh the carbon fiber that's kind of cool okay so they are carbon fiber not fiberglass and these are ADV1 wheels which I have no idea what they are um, so I can't really talk on it ooh he has a D-Sport taillights so everyone now is getting VLANs which is like smoked 
is like a dark red with like thin red LEDs to match the 2017 Lexus IS or the LS, the new models. This is a D, this is a D spec or D sport model, which came out first. And these are kind of cool, but I think the red's a little bit too bright for me. That's the reason why I never bought it. And there's nothing wrong with the ISF tail lights. I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. There's no point of upgrading it, to, in my opinion. Tons of, tons of tire shine or dressing. This should be semi-gloss, if not matted, some more. Uh, he's got a Josie intake arm, it looks like, that's been painted. But everything looks good. Mm, aftermarket steering wheel. Got some carbon in here. What else? We can go. Oh, F Sport shifter, just like me. Mm, 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 black interior carpet or floor mat doesn't look original there's supposed to be like ISF like right here on the bottom left or no yeah it is bottom left it's supposed to say ISF right here so either this if it doesn't fall off because it's actually stitched on that's kind of odd um, what's that thing say on the oil maintenance re required so you need to reset that or do the oil change um, Man, black is clean, man. I should've got black seats. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Another aftermarket part I saw. Oh, let me go through this again. Sorry, guys. He's got a carbon fiber rear tray. Oh, actually, no. You know what? I know the resolution and picture is really crap, but that's actually wrapped. I don't think that's actually like an, an, a real carbon fiber piece. So that's probably wrapped carbon fiber. Uh, door panels need to be looked at. It's a little worn. Uh, this is either wrapped. Oh, it is wrapped. You can actually see the the thin layer of uh, clear on here. See, if I if I didn't vinyl wrap cars or, or dealt with vinyl wrapping, uh, I would n never notice this. But this this is this is wrapped. That's kind of cool. All right, enough of that. So he wants twenty two five. Um, not a fair price. I mean, the, the wheels probably really expensive anyway. So, and he has suspension and upgraded headlights. So that's a that's a fair price for all the aftermarket parts on there. Um, of course, everything matters with the title. Um, what else in Orlando? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna bother looking at Craigslist. I know there's nothing on here. So let's go back to the comments, and then we're gonna check bring your trailer. And I'm probably gonna end the video. Uh, I've been talking way too much. Um, it's kind of a girl color. The pre doesn't look like girly but still kind of uh if you're talking about that baby blue yeah baby blue is kind of like a girly color in my opinion because the s1000 come in that color too it's like a suzuka blue it's really girly uh nice to have a color it's almost no one has <laughs> it is true it's good to stand out i even like the the green the green off the is250 oh my god that color it's amazing no one really seems to do it. I guess I guess if you were to get a car repainted that color and put more pearls in it or something to make it really stand out, but that color is really rare. I've seen one the other day and I was just flipping, flipping shit. Hope you end up keeping it because you're the one who made me get an ISF. <laughs> well, you don't regret it, right, Christian? Whoever bought an ISF because you watch my channels, it's I know you don't regret buying that car. It's a lot of power and it's fun. Um... Oh yeah, the rear bumper does have some parking sensors. Um, you could probably buy some caps and just put it over it, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I turn my sensors off because the wall lip covers the sensors on the front bumper and it goes off all the damn time. So I just turn the sensors off. Plus I reverse park anyway, so I don't really need sensors. <laughs> when is they stopped at to them? Oh, okay. If it is stopped in 2014, then that's probably where it is. Probably mid-2014. And worst case, they probably released the IS the redesign the 3 is like mid 2014 then or 2015 uh it, yeah ad adv1 I've, I've heard of i've i guess i've heard of it before on like supercars but never like anywhere else yeah i guess they're expensive if they're forged and all that good stuff what do you think about the new vlan headlights uh we talked about that already they look cool um but i'm just not crazy about them because they have like this weird gap on the top but all that can be um reverted by putting a uh, an eyelid on it. Um, how long have I been live for, guys? I don't even know. I can't even see. Anyway, this is on. This is bring a trailer. 
it's like an auction for people who wants to sell the cars for people it's risky as hell and here's the reason why let's look at this white one real quick <laughs> clean original I think this color is called star five pearl but you can tell the front bumper has been repainted because it's kind of yellowy oh it has been repainted I don't know it's really yellowy right here and the rest of it looks really white but if not, then I'll take it back. I retract that. Sixty mm k -hmm. miles service. <laughs> so this is sixty thousand miles original, two thousand eight, and it sold for twenty four. That's a steal, but it's fair for the age. So yeah, this is a this is an okay auction. But look at this one. This is what blew my damn mind. Okay, this ISF was for sale. It's a 2008 with 26,000 miles, guys. 26,000 miles, original paint, all right? Everything's original. Looks clean as hell and they sold it for 22. That's re that's dude, you 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 bought a $60,000 car for $22,000. And there's barely any miles on it. The, the miles on it is like pretty much they le it's like whoever leased it turned it in at 25k and it's been sitting since. So that's what's risky about bring your trailer i think or bring a trailer because you're just bidding for a car and you can't you can't pick and choose how much money you want for it or you're going to get for it so that sucks but this car is clean though from canada ontario okay so there's that at least we know the pricing fluctuates uh some people have a lot of good deals on the isf some people probably lost money on the isf but um yeah, if you if you're looking to buy one, just make sure you find a really a really clean title one for the most part with some service history. Um it's it's easy to just go into Lexus and just have them run the VIN number and maybe print out a service history. Uh you might have to have the owner there too, but I guess that's what car Carfax is for. But Carfax charges you money. Um so just do your research. I mean, I I'm pretty sure I did and I, I my car is pretty clean for the most part. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys get like that too. You just want to sell the car, any car you get, any project car, any. I mean, you could have a reliable truck and want to sell it for an unreliable sports car. Like it's just, we're just human beings, you know. Things things change. We want more. Uh, but you know, to be frank, if I were to sell the car and I didn't need the money, I'd probably end up buying a Forerunner with that money. Or I end up buying the right-hand drive car that I want from Japan. So it's it's a it's it's I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about it because if it does happen, it happens, and you guys will be there to witness it. But for right now, I'm really debating about selling it. Uh, and the only way I could justify doing that is slowly part it out, um, because not many people just have you know twenty-five, twenty-eight thousand dollars cash to buy a whole car um, like that. Uh, and if I don't know, I have to see. I think parting out would be the best option financially. And if I do part out, you guys would know. I probably post a video on it. Um, you know, stuff like the front lip, the wheels, suspension. Probably pull out the headlights for some clean 08 ones because I still want the car to look pretty damn nice when I sell it. You know what I mean? So that's that's the whole idea. I don't want to sell it like with a bucket I don't want I don't want people to feel like they bought it and then now they have to deal with all these all these issues uh, I'm gonna try to address it as much as I can before I sell it and that's the whole point of it um, but who knows maybe one day I'll probably just like you know I'll keep the car and I'll sell the S2000 which it's gonna be crazy but um, it just depends what goes first what I want to go what I want to sell first like but right now I'm not driving the ISF it's, it's gonna be parked in the garage for some time um, so you probably see it a lot in my videos but I'm gonna be driving the S2000 a lot now uh, enjoy that car while I can since it's kind of new to me so uh, hopefully you guys will be okay with that and we'll see we'll see what happens but I've probably been talking way too long probably more than an hour maybe less than an hour I don't know I don't even know who, who's been watching in here but let's read some comments before I, I exit here at uh, 730 um, uh, let's see do, 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 do. <laughs> Why is everyone selling their ISF except for us? Uh, I don't know, man. I just need something different. You know, it's just, it's just how it is. I've always seen one 250 in, in that green, but it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, 
I think that color only came in 250. That, that green on the Lexus IS 250 is really nice though. I really do like it. Does anybody have work wheels thinking about buying some? Uh, you might be able to find some on, uh, what's it, where do I go on to find wheels? I go on zilvia.net, Z-I-L-V-I-A, zilvia.net. It's a 240, a Nissan 240 form, but a lot of people post a lot of wheels on there, surprisingly. Uh, where else do I check wheels at? Of course, eBay, OfferUp, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, and you can also check eBay. I said eBay, right? Yeah, I did say eBay. Um, or WheelFlip. WheelFlip.net or WheelFlip.com. Um, there's like a marketplace there for people who sell wheels, different sizes and stuff like that. Hey, what's up, Nick? Someone from Thailand, across the world. Awesome. Um, if I put it on, if I if I was a part out, if I part out, you probably see it on Facebook and maybe eBay. But I'm trying to sell locally. Um, eBay takes a lot of money out, so I don't want to do that. Ah, uh, uh, sell the S2K. Ah, uh, I can't right now. I'm still enjoying it, so we'll see. I don't know. We'll see, guys. I don't want to sell it. Worst case, I can part it out and then you know go back into the the, the car again but um i was invited uh, i'll end it here uh i i was invited to what's that place called my friend blake he was inviting me to go to uh uh tale of the dragon in tennessee is it tennessee i don't know where it is but he wants to do it this summer with all the isf guys and rcf and gsf guys in florida we're trying to do a big caravan there i don't know the the, the info on that and I don't know. I just have to talk to him more. You know, we, we talk through text. But he said that uh, he, he we should go, you know, have a chance to have all the ISF hang out and drive on Tail the Dragon. Uh, one thing is I'm kind of scared of it, to be honest. A lot of people crash their cars or die on it. Um, I'm not going to drive crazy, obviously, but there's a lot of things that go into account. You need your brakes done, oil change done, tires got to be good, alignment has to be good. Everything has to be working order. You have to bring your tools because if I'm driving from Florida to Tennessee, that's, that's like 20-something hours away, man. So I have to see. Um, that'd be kind of cool. You know, we need a big ISF meet. I think R Racing is also hosting it too. So I mean, you guys look into that on social media. I don't really know. I'm not on it as much. Um, but yeah, I'll make I'll make more videos on the on the Lexus stuff before I I sell the car. Um, I don't want to sell it clearly because it's paid off and it's reliable. But it does eat a lot of money too now. At the, once you once you reach that threshold after 125k. Or even after 100k, you're gonna start paying a lot of money for maintenance. Um, not all at once. It's not like a BMW or a European car where it's like if you wait too long, there's gonna be a lot of issues. Like, but at least once a year, you're gonna fix something expensive on it. So we'll see, guys. Um, I'm gonna end this live video. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you guys learned something today uh, on pricing for the ISF. Uh, I'm glad we're able to sit here and chat quite a bit on this channel it's kind of cool i want to do it more often late at night so it'll be uh it'll be uh lamb after dark i don't freaking know we can sit here bullshit talk shit and um just enjoy it you know what i mean so if there's more topics i i, I come across like today like tonight you know uh, looking at pricing for the isf uh i'll probably just go live stream on it so if you guys enjoy it you know just join me on the next one i'll probably do it around this time it's i think it's a, a good time to do live uh i think doing it too late a lot of people are already sleeping for work the next day. And like I said, I got someone from Thailand watching too. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, I talk too much. I'm going to end the video. So stay tuned for the next one. Um, like the video uh, before I get off. Just like it. Show people that it's an interesting video to watch. Uh, it really helps out. Subscribe if you're a new time viewer. Unless you're subscribed to me, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And hopefully this channel grows a little bit more. Uh, you know, get a little bit more momentum. And we can start doing some real projects. Um, but for now, uh, just going to end it, and I'll try to answer most of your questions in the comment section afterwards. So, I'll see you then. Peace.